All right, before we start this video, I need to get it. Check out the sponsor in the description, which is a Vita Goods, which is a scale that measures everything. So, everything that you set your height, your age, everything like that, athletic body, and then you go stand on it. Two, calculating. Bam. 12% body fat. Oh my God, 64.4% lean body mass. Yo! Check out the link in the description for a lot of goods. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Appreciate you. Let's get started. What is going on guys? My name is Face Jaster and I welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you to our sponsor. Appreciate you. Today we are going to do a Q&A. It's been such a long time since we did a Q&A. One-on-one -on -one talk with you guys, some fitness questions, I hope. Post it on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions. Whoever asked the questions, thank you so much. I appreciate you. John Tay Siren asked, diet tips for going on a cut. Getting to know your body is very important. Obviously you get to know your body more along the way you go cutting. It's definitely something that you cannot do right the first time in my opinion, uh, it's very hard to do. And you have to learn about your body and how it reacts to certain things. Try it out and then see and learn from it. Personally, for me, it was harder to stay away from the sweet stuff because I have an insane sweet dude. So I like chocolate, I like Skittles, I like sodas. So the thing that I did was, I pretty much ate very clean throughout everything. And the way I dealt with my sweet tooth was either buy snack jacks in like a sweet flavor, like caramel. We're like kind of high in sugar, but it was okay. And it, it was filled in for my carbs, which is great. But also diet sodas were for me a key because I was craving all this sweet stuff. And if I didn't drink this to deal with that craving, I would just binge on, I would just buy a bag of Skittles and just eat it all, you know, or buy, a bag of M&Ms and just eat everything. So personally for me, this was the way to go. Um, but again, it's personal, so it could be way different for you. Josh asked, would you recommend deadlifting sumo or conventional for building a thick back? Um, I find this a very hard question to answer because I personally don't like sumo that much. And the thing is for me, the consistency that you're able, the, the ability for consistency outweighs the exercise. Does that make any sense? What I mean is if you're able, if you don't enjoy sumo, you're not gonna do sumo a lot because you don't like it. You're not gonna get tired of it. You're not gonna hate it. So I would prefer to do the one that I prefer, conventional. Because it's more fun to do and I enjoy it more. So I will do it for a longer period of time, which will result in a, in more back gains. If that make any sense, right? It was, how many times do you recommend doing cardio greens from Mexico? Um, I always do like a five minute cardio warm up, like to get a little blood flow and get everything warm. Uh, for leg day, I do like 10 minutes, a little bit more. Uh, for a cut, I did three times a week, 20 minutes. Depends on your diet as well. You can balance everything out with your macros and stuff. You want to eat a little bit more or a little bit less, or you're a very big eater or you're a small eater. For like normal people, like two, three times a week for like 20, 15 to 20, to 30 minutes is great. It's very good. What do you do for income? And when you're not working out, what are you doing? So I have a couple streams of income. Obviously I work for Face Clan, uh, which means I get income from Face. I get a salary every month. Uh, I work with the, the player, you guys know I'm an esports coach, a fitness coach, so I help everything and everyone in Face Clan get in better shape or try to get in better shape, which is a really good thing because I believe in bringing more health and fitness to the gaming community. So that's the way that I do it right now, which is very enjoyable. Then I have sponsors. So you have my protein, you have Alphalete, which is another stream of income. Then I have my online coaching, which is another stream of income on my website. And then I am starting another thing quite soon, which I want to talk about to you guys about, but I don't want to do it yet because it's not very done. So I don't want to do it yet. But it's gonna be more. But uh, yeah, it's different things. And when I'm not working out, what am I doing? I'm working on a website, I'm working for Fake Land, I'm traveling, I'm doing all a bunch of shit, and I you know, make videos, obviously, and I try to um, you know, work on the things outside of fitness that I wanna start up, you know? All right. How many times a week do you hit the gym and how long do you go to the gym? Five times a week now, and I hit the gym for like, an hour and 15 minutes, I would say, on average. How do you work on the region on your chest by the armpit? I guess what he's referring to is this. Uh, flies. 
You and the girl still together, Jasper. I haven't seen you post her for a while. Uh, yes, we are still together. Uh, she's very busy with uni. She has like, uh, she has finals and stuff. I'm here in Eindhoven. She's in Nijmegen, so we live like an hour apart, which is really sad. But I see her every weekend, or I go over there to chill with her. But she's very busy right now. But yeah, we're still together and very happy. So, all chilling. What would you say is your go-to bulking food, taking cost as the biggest factor? This is what we call in Holland, volkwaard. This is my go-to bulk food, eat one of these one a day. Uh, it's for a whole tub, which is half a liter, half a kilo, whatever it is. It's almost 40 grams of fats, which is a lot because that's like 40% of my daily fat thing. So uh, yes, this is my go-to bulking food. It's very easy to get 40 grams of fat in. If you just scoop it in before you go to bed, it's really nice. Casein protein, so slow releasing protein, which means your body takes it in slower than a whey protein, for example, which is really good because before you go to bed, your body's still gonna take in the protein so you can build muscle over time. Yeah, boy, okay, next question, let's go. What do you think of the diss tracks that have come out lately from Kodeka, Randolph, Deji, etc.? Um, I love JJ and I love Deji. They're both the homies. I met them both, really nice. I hope they figure it out. I, I matched them both, I told them, Love always wins in the end. Like honestly, they have to deal with that privately and work it out together. It will work out and I really hope the best. It's gone too far at this point. It's not fun anymore. It's not YouTube beef. It's like real family stuff, which sucks. Um, when you hit the gym the first time, did you feel nervous, shy, or were you confident when you first went? I was one nervous, but two, I was so shy and scared of everybody looking at me, but like, dude, this guy's skinny as hell. I felt the judgment, like, through everybody. Like, I walked into the gym, I was like, oh my god, I'm getting watched by everybody right now. If I do something wrong, like an exercise, everybody's gonna judge me. But in the end, everybody was like, yo, I can help you out with this exercise, or I can help you with this. You should do this, you should try this. Dude, everybody was super helpful, but I felt so, so judged. So judged. If you could be the best at one thing, what would it be? The best football player ever. <laughs> um, or would you ever date a girl who is buffer and stronger? I already am. <laughs> Hi, my friend Fonz asked, if you had to choose between never using cables anymore or never using machines anymore, what would you pick? I would probably pick never use machines. I like cables more than machines. Uh, what do you use to edit your photos? I use Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. I have some presets from my friend Nabil who helped me out with some presets that I love to edit in. All right, last question comes from a girl 20 underscore 01. What is the best exercise to do with dumbbells to get a bigger chest? Probably like a flat dumbbell press or a incline, slight incline dumbbell press, whatever you prefer. Switch it up between those two. Probably like a dumbbell press is probably the best one. All right, that's gonna be it for this Q&A. Thank you so much for hanging. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up if you did. I talk to you guys this Friday, because this Friday I'm uploading a video with FaZe, Motherfucking Apex, Fortnite. See you guys there. Deuces.